Hi, my name is Michael Shea, and this is the embryo part three. So, in the first part, we looked at the sperm and the egg, and at the second part, we looked at the fertilization process. And now, what we'll do is take a brief look at the first week with these wonderful German models from Samso. So, this first model uh, that I'm holding up right here, amazing. Let's get it around this way. This is uh, the first uh, cellular bifurcation. So the fertilization process that we saw in the previous video is what uh, was a single-celled human being. It's a beautiful thing. And within 24 hours of fertilization, after we are a single-celled human being for 24 hours, we then bifurcate and we go into this bicellular phase and all during the first week what happens is uh, the one becomes two and then the two becomes four, the four becomes sixteen, the sixteen thirty two and so forth until we get up over a hundred cells by the end of the first week and then we get into um, this beautiful stem cell division uh, that I'll talk about shortly. So here we have the, the first bifurcation of the human body into two cells. These cells are frequently called um, pluripotent cells because what they <clears throat> can do in um, artificial reproduction technology is that they can examine each of these cells to see if there's any genetic defects in them. If someone has a history of genetic defects um, in their lineage, in their history, family history, they can then remove the one cell here that does not have the genetic defect and re-implant it. Uh, it's also pretty pricey to do that. So after we have the uh, <clears throat> four, I'm sorry, after we have two, we have four. So here we see four cells with this wonderful uh, German set of models. Now it's often, as I said, talked about as pluripotent, each of these cells, but um, having the same potency to form a full human being if these cells are taken out, cultured, and reimplanted uh, in a woman's uterus. However, um, that's not really the case, as I said, with the last model. These can have genetic differences, and the reason for that is they're not all really the exact same size. And when you have a different size uh, cell, you're going to have a different influence on the actual uh, cell nucleus in the genetic uh, differentiation that's going on. So now, uh, from the four, when we double that, we get um, eight, and then from the eight, uh, we get 16. So here we're looking at one, two, three, four cells, but I'm going to turn this on its edge and see if we can catch this close up with the camera here. And you can see uh, 4, 8, 12, 16 cells. So here we have the 16 cell uh, phase of the first week of development. I'd say roughly, probably, maybe uh, into the third or fourth day uh, when we have these uh, 16 cells. The timing is, is going to really be different for every human being. Uh, that's just the latest research. Uh, we all don't do the same process in the same timing. Um, I'm, hopefully you've figured that out by now in your own life. Okay, so that will end this discussion of the first week of development.